Yes, yes, Unisport fam. It's Jack Down at AK Street Panel here, and today we're back for another tutorial. I'm teaching you three insane ways to not make late Neymar. Let's get into it. In step, stop and go. Looks a bit like this. Neymar commonly uses this move when he's near the edge of the pitch, so the opposing defender doesn't know if he's going to cut in and shoot or get to the byline and make the cross. This move only requires two touches. The first is to stop the ball dead with your instep, and the second is to nutmeg the opponent and progress down the pitch. What's super important about the first touch is that you set yourself by controlling it under your body of your instep. This means that you're going to have both your shoulders facing the defender and you could either go down the line or cut inside. This will keep the defender guessing and make it hard for them to set themselves. Then the second step is to shift your body as if you're going to go down the line. So Neymar does this perfectly by dropping his weak foot shoulder and his weak foot in front of the ball. And then as he comes back, the defender wants to lunge in. That's when we do the second touch. With the instep of our strong foot, we're just going to touch it through and then we'll be away down the line with that sweet pattern. When the defender's set and side on, it's very difficult to get the nutmeg. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to feint them and then get them moving as their body comes flat. If you see their hips coming flat, that is when you can kick it through their legs and get on the other side. However, if they're side on, we're gonna have to get them off balance first. One way that Neymar does this is that instead of stopping the ball dead, going, coming back and giving the nutmeg, sometimes Neymar actually takes this touch across his body this forces the defender to step, opens up their hips, and then he's gonna to touch it through and progress with the nutmeg. So that's it for the first skill have. We're gonna level up with the second one. Let's get into it. Okay, so the second move you're about to learn is the step over cut. And we're gonna break it down into three simple steps. Neymar usually uses this move in the opposition's box so that either he can use it to get inside and shoot or he can win a penalty in the process. So the first step is as we have the ball at our feet, we're gonna to touch it lightly in front of us with the instep of our foot. The second step is to do an outside step over with our strong foot, just following the touch. So we don't put our foot down and then do the step over. We're gonna do it all in one motion. Neymar's the best at this move because as he does the step over, he really commits his shoulder and that makes it difficult for the defender to know which direction he's about to go. Then the final move is obviously the cut. So we do the touch, step over. With our weak foot now, with the instep of our weak foot, we're gonna cut the ball back across and that's gonna get the nutmeg. The aim is for the final cut to go through the defender's legs and into space so we can run onto it perfectly. And we're just gonna go one, two, cut and away. So this is a beautiful skill. It's definitely very hard to execute. However, with practice, you will be able to do it. Just make sure you're getting the defender off balance, then the gaps will appear and you will not make like Neymar. But now, let's go on to the third and final skill. This one for me is my favorite. So the third and final skill is the inside elastico. This is an amazing skill, Neymar's amazing at it. The move itself is two clean touches. So we're gonna start with our instep, and we're gonna to touch the ball across our body, like so. As we do this, we're gonna make sure that we drop our weak side knee, our weak side shoulder, and this is gonna make the defender think we're going in that direction. However, then we're gonna execute the second touch. This is going to be at the outside of our strong foot, and we're gonna to touch it in the opposite direction. We're gonna explode out that way, and in doing so, we're gonna get the nutmeg. To do this move well, we're gonna to wanna to minimize the time between the two touches. And to do this, we're just gonna practice touching it across our body and kicking it out. And make sure you keep the ball in front of you as you do so. One, two. Something to avoid. Make sure that you do not take a long time between the two touches. Don't touch it and then touch it. It's not as effective. The way Neymar uses it is fast and sudden and it makes the opponent surprised and that's partly why they open their legs. Often I get asked, I can do an elastico whenever I try it in game, it doesn't work. So let's make sure you can use it in game. What we're gonna do, we're gonna learn from Neymar. He will often use it in a position where if he goes towards his weak side, the defender is scared because they don't want him to cross it. And if Neymar was here, if he went towards his strong side, the defender would have to try and tackle him as well because it's dangerous for him to shoot. So when we use this trick, we're gonna try and use it in this position. Disclaimer, that shot was first goal. Another tip from Neymar is that he likes to slow play down before executing it. Normally, he'll get the defender one-on-one -on -one and he'll just wait, 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 go. Oh, 
And with the change of speed and direction, he surprises the defender. The defender thinks he's gonna run down the line, so they open up to try and chase him and catch him. In doing so, they leave a gap to be exposed. This is where we nutmeg them, and then Neymar will get on the other side, knowing him, he'll probably score a great goal. And that's what I want you lot to do. Make sure you get all three of today's skills down, and in no time, you'll be nutmegging like Neymar. So that is it for today's tutorial. I'm Jack Downer, aka Street Panda. It's been a pleasure being your host. If you've learned something, smash that like button. Comment down below, we'll scoot you on next time. And don't forget to subscribe for more skills. Ooh, you know how we do. Ha ha ha!